hello welcome to my collective manga haul for the month of november and i'll be opening packages as i get them throughout the month and it seems like my whole haul is gonna be in this first clip because a lot of packages arrived today so let's start with a bit of a haul from amazon which i usually don't use but i had a gift card from work so i kind of went a little ham because what else would i buy other than manga from amazon so let's just pick one of these and open it up so it turns out this is not from Amazon, but this is volume 4 of Spirit Circle. I got this from eBay, and I had been watching the prices fluctuate for a bit. It went from like $40 to $20 to $15, and that's when I snagged it up. So didn't pay a ton for this, but it wasn't cheap. So yeah, excited to have my set of Spirit Circle done. Love this series. I ended up reading this volume on Crunchyroll when I was reading it, but I'm really excited to have the full physical set now. I'm pretty sure this one is from Amazon, though. From the logo. And it is volume 4 of Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. If you know anything about this series, volume 4 has been out of stock for ages. And I actually got my order cancelled a couple times from them. But this came back in stock on Amazon and I snatched it up so fast. I don't care that I had to pay like $15 for this because it's full retail from Yen Press. But yeah, glad to finally have this. I own, I'm pretty sure, every other volume now. So I'm excited to keep reading and potentially binge the series. Wish this came yesterday because it was Halloween, but it's okay. We can have spooky season all year round. That is fine with me. And then I also got a random chunk of volumes of Haikyuu. Like I said, I had a gift card. I would normally never order these from Amazon. But yeah, volume 30, 32, 33, slowly collecting Haikyuu. And I think that I'm missing now like 10 volumes. And I noticed that a couple of them were out of stock. I wasn't expecting that. But I'm pretty sure this is not out of print or anything like that. It's Haikyuu. Unless... They're planning to do some type of omnibus situation or box sets. I don't know why they haven't done box sets. Same with Boku no Hero, but I'm not in charge at Biz over there, so I don't know. But yeah, glad to have these. Slowly picking them up one by one. And also in that bundle, I got volume 15 of the Heroic Legend of Arslan. I'm still on about, I think, volume 9 and I haven't continued on, but I really want to get back into this series. I really loved it from what I've read. And I think I've described this before as a little bit like Game of Thrones. There's fantasy, war, political aspects, etc. A genre I normally wouldn't read, but I highly recommend this. I really like it. And then lastly, to match with my other Toilet Bound volume, I realized I didn't have volume 8, so I snatched this up as well. So now I totally am caught up with the series. And then this volume I have been searching for for over a year now, and I did buy this through Amazon through a third-party seller, which is the first time I've ever done this. And, I mean, this is not in the best condition. There is a, like, crease in the spine. It's yellow. Whatever, the listing just said it was in good condition, and you never know what you're going to get with those kinds of listings. But I'm just really glad to have this. I paid about retail, I think it was like $20, and it randomly popped up on Amazon. Usually these go for like about $50 or $60, so I'm just happy to have this and finally have the series completed so I can continue. It left off on a cliffhanger on the first omnibus, and it's been a year since I read that. So yeah, just happy to have this, excited to continue, and happy to have the series complete. And then we have a package from Right Stuff as well. So, Right Stuff was having a Yen Press sale last week, and I decided to pick up all of a series. I did buy all the volumes, even if they weren't in stock, and I'm just gonna wait for them to come back in stock and hope that they do in a timely manner. But yeah, so I got all of Monthly Girls and Zaki Kun, and I've been really wanting this series for a while now. I never mentioned it, but I love this anime. I've seen it like five times, and I know that it only covers up to like volume four of the manga. So, I'm really excited to keep going with it. It's a comedy manga centered around a guy named Nozaki who is a manga artist and he kind of takes inspiration from his daily life and observing his friends etc but it's really funny and he's kind of clueless to the girl who has feelings for him Chio so a lot of funny situations ensue from there but yeah I'm really excited to have this and can't wait for the rest of the volumes to come in I have noticed that a couple of them are pretty chipped on the edges and stuff like that which usually isn't a problem with red stuff so it might be Yen Press's fault, I wouldn't be surprised, but yeah, so I got a good chunk of these. Next we have volume 4 of Sasaki and Miyano. Now this one had a bit of a rough start with me, and then I reread the first three volumes, and I ended up liking it, but it's kind of like a guilty pleasure, like, like I know that the series is not groundbreaking or anything like that, but it's cute, and it makes me happy, so I don't care. I'm gonna keep buying this, unless it gets super weird. I mean, like I said, it's not anything revolutionary. It's a high school boys love story, and I think the cast is pretty cool and the romance is slowly developing 
they're not jumping into things straight away, which I like to see most of the time in my LGBT plus romance because I dislike when things move really fast for some reason, even though in like a heterosexual shoujo manga, it sometimes takes like 10 volumes for them to get a kiss in. So yeah, I really like this one. Didn't at first, but once I got past my analytical brain and just sat down and decided to enjoy some mindless fluff, that's when I started getting into the series. Next, we have volume 19 of Dr. Stone, one of my favorites. Needs no introduction. I'm still on like volume 16. I wanted to save up a chunk, but these volumes come out so fast. I swear they come out like every month, but I'm not complaining. This spine is really cool. I don't think they've ever had this dark of a spine before, but it looks cool. The nighttime setting. So yeah, I'm really excited to read this and binge a couple volumes of these. And then lastly for today, I got the One Shot Boy Meets Maria. I am not super sure what this is about. I think it's about a drama club in high school, but I've heard some really good reviews about this and a couple people picking it up I saw on Instagram. So I decided to go in quite blindly. I usually don't do that. I like to get a feel for a series or one shot more before I jump into it. But this, since this is a one shot, I figured, oh, what the heck? What's the worst that can happen? If I don't like it, I can tell it's no big deal. So yeah, I'm excited to read this. I'm excited to read all the stuff I got today and I'll see you in the next clip. Hello, we have a small haul from Barnes & Noble for today. I couldn't film because it was super crowded, but I did go on a little weekend trip to see my cousin who lives in the city. So I was expecting there to be a really large manga selection, but there really wasn't. But besides the point, it was really fun to catch up with my cousin. She's actually the one who I've mentioned before got me into anime and manga, and I haven't seen her in a while, and I'm glad that it turns out that she still is into the hobby, so maybe one of these days I can convince her to come on a video with me. But getting to the manga, first I picked up Haru's Curse. A couple of you have recommended this to me, saying it's a really good, like, dark, dramatic romance series. I think this man was engaged to her deceased sister, and now they're trying to date, or at least kind of reconcile their feelings and come to terms with the sister's death. Or something like that so it seems intriguing it's just a one shot so i figured i'd give it a try and then i also saw this randomly and picked it up it's like a character guide for my hero academia we all know i love my hero academia so i figured i'd pick this up kind of funny since i don't have any of the other spin-offs other than vigilantes i have a couple volumes of that but this looked really cool there's some color pages in the beginning and yeah just like a character analysis has all the characters in here and details about them so i'm really excited to look through this in the future and since there wasn't that much of a selection at this Barnes & Noble and I was itching to buy stuff, which is kind of a bad reason to pick something up, I got the full series of That Wolf Boy is Mine, so Omnibus 1 and 2. They recently collected these in the Omnibus format, and I know that they also collected Love & Focus by the same mangaka into one chunky volume. So yeah, I've been seeing people pick this up since it's been in the Omnibus format, and I've heard good things. I'm not exactly sure of the plot, I think. It's kind of about this guy who can turn into a wolf or something, hence the title which is not really my cup of tea usually, but I decided to check it out. Four volumes won't kill me, so I'm looking forward to this short read, and maybe I'll be interested enough to pick up some of this author's other works, such as Those Not So Sweet Boys, which I have also heard really good things about recently. And then something that I was pretty shocked to find, volume 15 of Beastars. This hasn't come out for another like two weeks as of the filming of this clip, and we all know I love Beastars. Excited to read this. I'll probably read this tonight. Volume 14 left off on kind of a cliffhanger, so I'm excited to keep going, and... I always say this, but I wish the releases came out faster, but I'm grateful that they do come out every other month. It's like just enough time to not be too long of a wait, but still keep me interested in knowing what happens next and my mind fresh from what happened in the last volume. And then the thing I was so excited for, this is not manga, but I've been waiting for this to come out forever. It is Lore Olympus. This is a webtoon. This is actually the number one webtoon on the webtoon app. It's very popular. It's a retelling of Persephone and the Hades stories, which has been done so many times, but I really like this retelling. I was not a Percy Jackson girl or anything like that growing up, but I don't know why, I just really like this story. The art is really unique, as you can see from the cover, and they released these really beautiful hardcover editions and a paperback version. And this is the Barnes & Noble exclusive one. I know I did say before on Instagram that I wanted to get the original cover, but I didn't trust Amazon to send this, like... I know it would have come so beat up and that's the only place I know where you can get it and maybe like Target online. So I might get that one as well. It might be excessive, but I really do love this webtoon and I highly recommend it. You can read it for free on the webtoon app. You don't need to buy the physical copy. But that being said, I did notice that they had the trigger warnings at the front, which is really nice of them to do that. But there is some instances of 
rape and sexual abuse in this. It's kind of one of the main plot points, but I think this is overall a really good story if you are able to read it. So yeah, that's what I got from Barnes & Noble, and I'll see you in the next clip. Hello, welcome to today's clip, and I have a package from Mercari. So what I got is two more volumes of Haikyuu. Just attempting to round out my set, that packaging was not that good, but thankfully these came in pretty good condition. And now I think I'm missing like five volumes of Haikyuu, which is kind of crazy. I did not expect to be collecting this like more thoroughly right now. I just got a kick in me that I wanted to get the rest of the volumes now that it's complete. So glad I'm making progress on that. And then the seller also included this Demon Slayer charm. I'll give this to my best friend because I have not seen or read Demon Slayer. I know, blasphemous. I've gotten a lot of comments asking where it is in my collection, but maybe one day. We'll see. Hello, welcome to another clip for this collective haul. We got two packages today. One from Amazon. A release I've been really excited for. As we all know, I really love the first volume of Skip and Loafer. And they actually announced an anime for this one, so that's gonna be exciting as well. I know they're up to like volume 7 in Japan already, and I think their release schedule is pretty consistent for the English ones. So that's gonna be great, and I'm really excited to read this. And then this one I bought on Mercari. We got volume 2 of Pluto. This is a series I'm slowly trying to collect, but a lot of the volumes are always out of stock, so I saw this one for retail on Mercari. It wasn't a great deal whatsoever, but yeah, slowly picking this up, and I'm excited to be able to start this. I might wait until I get all the volumes, since it is a short series, but regardless, I am excited to read more of Urasawa's works. Hello! Today I went to a new bookstore near me, and my hopes were not very high to be honest with their manga selection because the other bookstore near me only has one shelf of manga, but I was pleasantly surprised with this, so I did pick up a few things. First, I got some volumes I was missing of Kimi ni Todoke. I am still on the hunt for volumes 11, 12, and 16. I check everywhere every day, and the lowest I've seen those prices go are like $25 each volume, and I'd really rather not pay that much. But yeah, at least I'll have pretty much the rest of the series to read when I finally get those volumes. I think I'm only missing like 26 and 27 and 30 or something like that. That's it. So only like five volumes. But of course, three of the ones I need are the ones that are super hard to get right now. And then also, I got three volumes of Monsters. So volume three, volume four, and volume six. This is another series I am slowly collecting. I only have Omnibus 1, so now I'm missing 2, 5, 7, 8, I think there's 8. So yeah, not in a rush to collect these, hoping they might come on sale on Bright Stuff in the winter, or just in stock in general, this is something that goes in and out of stock a lot, but be patient and they will be restocked. So yeah, that is all for this month, thank you for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time, probably a lot more next month, I was kind of saving my money this month for the Bright Stuff winter sale which feel free to use my affiliate link if you please. And yeah, so I'll see you next time.